Hello again. The Department of Basic Education says the next step towards the implementation of mother tongue instruction is to conduct assessments in the same language the learners were taught in. Studies show that learners struggle with English comprehension skills. This means that uh, learners are tested on language proficiency instead of comprehension. The department is looking to expand its pilot project beyond the Eastern Cape. Let's discuss this now with Lance Schultz from the Pan South African Language Board. He's the he's a boss there. He's a chief executive currently traveling. We find him at an airport. Hopefully the connection will hold uh, Mr. Schulz. Overriding your reaction first when you had the news that uh, we might be headed away where mathematics, science, biology, geography, history and the such will be taught in mother tongue. Yes, a very good afternoon to you and your, your listeners, brother. I'm uh, very pleased to be here. Yes, in fact, uh, I was party to the announcement uh, with the minister two weeks ago. It's quite important and significant in that we understand that cognitive development and cognitive skills uh, is, is quite important and is assimilated to all uh, learners as speaking in their homes. And it's very important that we recognize that if we want them to succeed, to exit the schooling system with the STEMs, uh, which is the science, technology, engineering, and mathematical work streams, that we need to ensure that mother tongue language is afforded to these learners. And it's important as well to ensure that we give an equal basis and an equal footing to all learners that goes through our schooling systems to be offered teaching in their mother tongue. Yeah, I mean, a few weeks ago, just after the results of Metric 2021 were announced and we were d drilling into the, the results, looking at science, looking at mathematics, performance-wise, I interviewed a, a, a professor who said if she had been taught mathematics and science at school, in English, because she's African speaking, she does not think she would have done very well. So the benefit for her when she was at school was that she was being taught these, these subjects in, um, in, in a home language. So there is a huge advantage here for the country if we embrace this and it's implemented successfully. Absolutely. I couldn't agree with you more. I believe it starts in the home. I think we need to inculcate an understanding within our communities and society at large that speaking in your uh, hometown, we've got 11 official languages, sign language also quite important, and we, we're currently working towards getting that recognized as well as an official language. But we encourage the use of mother tongue, and it doesn't stop as soon as the learners enters the foundational phase. We want to ensure that we've got all of the reading material, all of the literature, and there's a lot of work, and uh, the pilot program that we've done in Isitosa we intend to roll that out to the other languages as well that have, are not really being given the exposure and uh, being afforded the written work as we would like to see in the schooling system. And the policies that's been brought about is important for the school uh, governing bodies to embrace and to support as we try and, and get multilingualism as part of our uh, embedded culture within our schooling system. Yeah, and finally, uh, Mr. Schulz, what were in your views and what are you telling uh, the, the basic education department to, to watch out for? I mean, what would be the things not to do? What would be the right things to do in this process to make sure that its implementation is indeed successful? I think importantly to ensure that the policies are, are rolled out. Um, and these policies have to be done across the length and breadth of our country. The Pan-South African Language Board is there to support in terms of quality assurance, ensuring that these policies also are firstly understood, and secondly, that these policies allow for the schools now to introduce teaching in, in other uh, uh, languages which had, might not have been preferred previously, and thirdly, to ensure that we get all the necessary curriculum updated and that we afford all the learners the opportunity uh, in these respective uh, uh, subjects and the curricula as they're exposed to. So we improve their journey as they move along in their schooling as well. And we wish you safe travels this afternoon as well on your journey, Mr. Lance Schulz, the CEO of the Pan South African Language Board, commenting there about the plans to begin assessing uh, how mother tongue instructions can be implemented in South African schools, as announced recently by the headmistress herself of basic education, Me Ng Motsek.